Hi, my name is Madison Sternig. I am an artist and designer living and working in Milwaukee. And I am from the University of Minnesota BFA class of 2015. My relationship with the Nash Gallery began in 2012 when I was awarded the Dean's Freshman Research Scholarship. And through that, I, was, I got a stipend and it was a project assignment to be the research assistant for the Nash Gallery for their up upcoming exhibition, The House We Built, Feminist Art Then and Now. As a research assistant, my job was to not only learn about the feminist art movement of the 1970s and the artists that um, gave birth to that movement, but also to research what those artists were doing currently um, and to research what kind of artwork they were making currently if they were still practicing. I didn't know it at the time, but that project definitely changed the trajectory of the type of work that I was making, the type of art that I was interested in, and really what I believed that art could do in the world. And at the same time, I was developing my own creative voice that was very much influenced by the work that I had done in my, or that I had seen in my research. I also was able to get an inside look at this is what you have to do to, this is the work that has to go into planning an exhibition and acquiring the work for an exhibition and hanging an exhibition. And as a freshman, that was, um, that was really valuable. Fast forward to my senior year of college, in my professional practices class, we were really learning about the importance of getting your work shown in small group exhibitions at the beginning of your career. And I sort of thought, well, why not make my own group show? <laughs> so I had an idea to uh, create an exhibition around the topic of feminism in the digital age. This was in 2015, so Instagram and Facebook and social media was really just starting to kind of grab a hold of our lives. And to me, feminism looked very new in that sphere and was kind of gaining this digital momentum in a way that it hadn't previously. So I approached Howard and Therese with my idea to do a show and they were completely on board. They gave me all of the resources to be able to um, execute something like this. I did my research, I contacted artists that I wanted to be in the show, I gathered artwork, I hung everything, and having this crazy kind of idea and trying to take advantage of the opportunity ended up turning into Third Wave, an exhibition on feminism in the digital age, which ended up running for six weeks in the Quarter Gallery. And it still lives online today as an online exhibition. And as a student, I really learned how much I can accomplish just by doing the work. Um, the idea of the show that I had in my head was I was able to bring it to life. I really felt like I kind of came full circle in my relationship with the Nash Gallery, starting as a researcher, um, going through to create my own show, and then also being able to present my artwork with the context of my BFA class of 2015 in our BFA thesis show. Currently, I am living and working in Milwaukee in my home studio. I am working as a freelance designer and full-time artist. I feel very lucky that I get to spend every day focusing on my creative pursuits. It's kind of hard for me to imagine where I would be if I didn't have those experiences with the Nash Gallery. They very much have affected where I am today, what my artwork looks like today, and the way that I view art and the power of art in general.